Hey, what's going on guys? This is Jason with Jadron Aquatics. Thanks for hanging out with me in the fish room again today. So today, this is part three of the fish room tour with 80 plus tanks. It's hard to get all of them into one video without making it ridiculously long. So we are moving on to part three. If you guys did not see the previous parts, I will link it above uh, to part two and you can find your way back to part one from there. So let's go ahead and get started so we can see as much as we can see. All right, here we are at the uh, first tank here. This is a 40 gallon breeder. Uh, these are my shell dwellers, but in reality, they're not really shell dwellers. Um, they just lay their young in the uh, shells. They've spent very little time in there. These are uh, uh, Tomatochromus uh, temporalis. Um, that's like the only fish I really have that goes by a scientific name in my fish room. And let me tell you, I forget the name of it all the time because that's way too many syllables for Jason. Um, I originally bought about 20 of these guys, and then the same guy that I bought them from, a, a local friend, uh, he actually had some at an auction, and they were going super cheap in the auction, and I couldn't stand it, so I went ahead and bought those too. So right now, I've probably got about 26 of these guys. Um, a couple of people had made a previous comment that I was going to have aggression issues, and I have no aggression issues in here whatsoever. You guys watching here, there's like, there's very little even tiny chases uh, that ever go on. These guys are very, very calm. But one thing I am curious about that I don't know if you know, if you happen to know, if you look, there's a few of these guys that just, for some reason, they turn just charcoal black, like this guy right here. And I don't know why. I don't know if it, I thought maybe it was like they're ready to mate or something, but the smallest one I have, which is also right there in the frame, he's turned jet black. And again, I don't know why. If you guys have any idea why those turn jet black, because I'm too lazy to do the research to find out why, uh, be sure and let me know. Uh, I've yet to see any fry from these uh, yet. Um, I also haven't checked the hardness. I don't have any idea how hard this tank is. I've just got it loaded with crushed coral because um, my water already is a little bit soft. So it might be the water conditions that are keeping them from spawning. I'm not 100% sure. All right, let's move over to the tank beside it. We've got a, uh, another 40 gallon breeder. This is gonna be the last uh, 40 gallon breeder. Um, up here at the top, we've got a crown tail betta. I'm not, I'm not much of a betta fan. This is actually one that my daughter-in-law bought that was in a different tank that I ended up moving in here. And so uh, in here, this is another tank where uh, I put like 10 uh, Fantasy Blue Dream uh, Neo Cardina shrimp. And if you look in here now, there are perhaps thousands. <laughs> I don't know, you, if you look back there in the filter, there are things are everywhere. They just go nuts in these tanks. I'm telling you, to have the most success with Neos, I think you need to have them in there with some type of fish. I think the fish waste or something just helps them. Yeah, of course the fish are probably gonna eat a few of them, but I think they just reproduce a lot faster. Or maybe because it's in a bigger tank, I, I don't know. I don't know, I just know that th these things are going absolute crazy. And these things really breed pretty much true. You, get, you see a few lighter ones in here and you see some that are almost black, but for the most part, um, these guys stay pretty blue. Now I know I'm talking about shrimp and the, this is not really a shrimp video because I'll do another uh, uh, tour of just my, my shrimp tanks because uh, about 45 tanks uh, of the 80 are shrimp. Um, also in here, I've got about 20 to 25 uh, Agazizii uh, Corydoras. These are some of my favorite looking ones, but these are also some of the ones that are just always the most scared. They're just constantly on the run. The only other fish that I have in here is I've got some, uh, some uh, leopard frog plecos uh, back here in the cave. Uh, these guys I've had now for maybe a year and a half. I think I originally got six, but I, when I moved this tank, I think I only had three left. Um, this was a tank, if you guys remember, that was just absolutely covered in uh, hair algae, and it's that thick hair algae that these poor uh, quarries couldn't even get through. So I, I guess I lost them at some point um, through that. All right, let's move on to the next one. If you guys are enjoying this video and you would love to see more fish room tours, more fish store tours, and a bunch of cool DIY projects in my amazing fish room, be sure and hit that subscribe button right now. 
All right, here we have a uh, 20 gallon long. Uh, now these are the tanks that, if you look right here, these are the ones that I have squeezed in here. So it's hard to film back here, so I have to get in here all cockeyed and stuff. And so that's why it's kind of awkward. Um, these are uh, shocking pink inlers. These are some of the prettiest inlers that I've ever had. These are actually some of the inlers that I do want to keep. Um, but the other ones I've kind of lost interest. As you see, there's tons and tons of fry in here. There's also some, uh, just some green quarries. Um, there's also one uh, high fin green fl phantom uh, placostomus in here. He's, he's a baby. He's only about two inches long. He stays hidden all the time, but he's just absolutely beautiful. He's got, uh, there's a picture, but he's got this absolutely huge, uh, like gold fin that comes off the top. Uh, he's just, just, just beautiful. All right, the next tank beside it. This is a, another a 20 gallon long. Um, these are uh, tiger inlers. These guys I just haven't been able to get breed that well. You guys can see the male. The male's really beautiful. But th they've been in this tank for probably a year now and this is like the same amount that was in here. And you'll see again, these are another one where I just put a few fantasy blue uh, neo shrimp in here and they're absolutely all over the place. This tank needs some more fish, needs some quarries or something also. All right, we come down to another 20 gallon long. It gets kind of echoey here because we're in between tanks. Uh, the, this tank, these are the uh, purple mosaic Dumbo guppies. These are some of the my more high-end guppies. Uh, these are some of the ones I also got from Phil at uh, Tame Waters. Um, the big one down here, that's one of the original females that I have. These guys are just reproducing like crazy. Um, these guys are really, really beautiful. But you can see some of these aren't breeding true. We've got some of them that are coming out with some, some red tails. Uh, that's the only thing that I have in this tank. All right, let's move over to the next one. Holy mackerel as we knock everything off because it's too small back here. Okay, in, uh, and this is another 20 gallon. Let's see if we can get the glare off this thing. We hold it kind of here at an angle so we can get the glare off of it. Uh, this is a, uh, another 20 gallon long. Um, these quarries that are in here, I think these are the ones that I got. These are like CW082s uh, that I got at an auction. These guys are some big boys. Uh, also, what's in here is I've got some uh, Dumbo Ear um, Albino Red. Um, they call them blue ears because if you actually look at the their, their fins there, their fins actually are like a iridescent blue. Um, I had some Praycox Rainbows in here also. So if these guys had any fry, I know they were probably picking them off, so I finally moved them. Um, so that's why I don't yet have any fry that are in here. But I've always had trouble with albinos. And these guys have been alive for a while, so I'm excited that I seem to be going the right direction. All right, we drop down here. Uh, this is another 20 gallon long. Uh, this is another one of the high end ones. These are a Dumbo uh, Blaze Red Guppies. Um, if I can find where the heck they are. Oh, there, there she is back in the back. Or that's where he is. Um, I had three of these and I cannot get them to uh, to, to lay or to have a fry. There's another one that's back there. I don't know what the, what the deal is. The, the females were absolutely huge for months and months and months. And they're the only thing that's in the tank, so I don't know what the heck's going on. But these guys are really beautiful too. I was hoping to get those to breed. Now this tank over here, this tank over here beside it, this is a, a 55. This is just a kind of a mess tank. This is this is all the fish and shrimp that I pulled out of the, uh, the pond that I had outside. So it's just a bunch of mixture of guppy mutts and a bunch of uh, neo shrimp. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that tank. I, I can't stand it. All right, we come back around to this side. We finally have some room so that we can actually film again. Uh, we've got some other guppies. Uh, these guys, uh, gosh, I got these from Phil at Tamed Waters also. They're called like, 
I don't know, tequila sunrise or something. I don't know. They're really beautiful. These guys are breeding like crazy too. Um, there's a few uh, bristle nose that are in here, some smaller babies that I'm growing out. And then we move over to the next one, another 20 gallon long. These are my favorite guppies. Um, part of the reason is they're beautiful. The other reason is, is because they breed so well. These guys have just absolutely exploded on me. And for the most part, they breed really, really true. And uh, you can't see them quite as good as normal because this thing is just so overrun with duckweed. I, I am worn out from removing duckweed. Um, uh, I'm thinking about splitting some of these up. I'm always afraid of keeping everything in one tank in case something goes wrong. So I need to get some of these and move them to another tank. All right, so we come down to the uh, next 20 gallon long. Uh, this has got uh, epistogrammas in it. These are uh, McMasteri. Um, these guys are pretty shy. There's five or six of these in here. Here's one that's, well, that was out, but now he's gone back to the corner. Again, these are some more Epistos that I haven't got to breed yet. Uh, someone told me that I needed to keep them in a, a more of an acidic water. Um, so I may work on putting in some a bunch of Catapa leaves in here to get this thing to uh, go down to get these guys to breed because I've had them in here at least a year. Uh, next thing we got, these are Orange Flash uh, Epistogrammas. You can see this, uh, get out of the glare, you can see this beautiful male right here. I've got six or eight of these guys. Again, the same story. Another Episto I have without any fry. I see the female and stuff always going in and out of the, the caves, but never see any fry fall in her. All right, we come down here. This is a another Episto, and I have forgotten, because look, there's no name tag. I forgot what these are. I think it starts with a B. I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, same story with these guys. These, I think I only have two pair of these. They're not Hong Sloy. I had Hong Sloy. I think these are something different. And then we move over. This is another 20 gallon long. This is the one uh, I've shown you guys in a lot of the videos where I grow out um, angelfish fry, where I use these, uh, these tubs here at the top to grow them out. Um, work has been so insane the past two weeks. I'm sorry, the last two months, pretty much all of 2020, um, with machines breaking down that I finally had to stop pulling eggs because I just couldn't, I couldn't keep up with uh, raising them anymore. So, these guys are the last batch that I've pulled out, but they are on regular fish food, so they're easy to take care of. All right, next tank. Uh, this is, uh, the stand has three 20s on it, 20 gallon longs, turned sideways. Uh, this has got, um, I think these are starburst endlers, but also in here there's a bunch of long fin lemon drop uh, bristle nose placostomus. These are, I don't, the, turning these tanks sideways like this, I just don't like. Uh, I mean, I got a lot of uh, aquariums in this small space, but I just don't like it that much. Um, in this tank, these are, um, these are just some black tail guppies that I had. There's not a whole lot of them left. There's also uh, some, um, these are kind of a more of a rare bristle nose. It's an L349 uh, green spot bristle nose. I know, they look kind of similar to the browns, but they're a little bit different. There's probably six or so of those guys out there. Here to my film, they're almost never coming out, so I'm glad to see them out. Okay, this aquarium, another 20 gallon long. Uh, these are albino uh, blue topaz guppies. Um, these are ones that I got in from Phil. I lost the, 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 the I, had, I had two pair, two pair, no, two trios. And I lost all of them, but just one female, but the one female was pregnant. So she had babies. So that's what you're seeing all in here are the babies from her. So luckily I didn't end up losing everything. There's also some uh, L168 butterfly plecos. And they were just out a minute ago. They're another one, every time I film. Oh wait, here's one. Here's one on the side so you can sort of can see him. 
They kind of look like they're, they've been smushed a little bit. And so that's what's in this tank. And then the very last tanks, um, these are uh, all three 29 gallon highs. These are, the glass is kind of dirty, so we're not gonna spend a lot of time on these. These are my breeding angelfish. These are the uh, koi breeders I have, platinums, and then uh, blacks. And I know you're probably wondering, Jason, why do you have black angelfish with a tank that's painted black? Yeah, I know, I didn't quite think that through completely. Uh, these are the guys I was talking about. These guys ha lay about every 14 days, so get tons and tons of eggs from them. All right, so there you go. There is the uh, complete tour of every single one of the fish aquariums. Again, I've got a bunch of uh, uh, shrimp aquariums that I'm gonna do next. Uh, be sure and leave a comment down below if you've got any questions or comments. So thanks again, guys, and God bless.